Well, as Bobby Flay would say, we're going to have us a mixer throwdown. On the left is a KitchenAid K45SS, bought in 1978. On the right is an Electrolux um, DLX, bought about three months ago. I keep hearing that one is better than the other. There's an identical batch of bread dough in each of them. Same size batch, same ingredients, all measured out within a couple of grams. And the question is which is going to mix it faster, which is going to make it better, and if we can tell any difference in the final bread. Obviously, there's a difference between the two in the terms of their capacity, but what about in terms of the finished product? Now, the Electrolux DLX right now has the uh, scraper in place, which helps get the dough going. And in a couple seconds, I'm probably going to remove that. The KitchenAid has been tossing up a bit more flour in the air. This is a very plain white bread. Um, a very elegant French style white bread. We're going to do the usual five minutes of mixing, five minutes of sitting, and then five more minutes of mixing that I uh, like to do with all of my mixes. Okay, I think it's time to pull the scraper out. After you've worked with the KitchenAid for as many years as I have, it's kind of hard to get used to the fact that the Electrolux's bowl is moving. But it is. And sometimes you touch it and your hand bounces off. And you say, ooh! The DLX has a timer on it, and the timer on the DLX goes off, it'll also turn off the uh, kitchen egg. A recurring complaint I've heard about both of these and many other mixers is that um, they will walk around your counter and fall off if you don't watch them. And I haven't had that problem with either of them. I don't know why some people do. I'll give both mixers a good scrape down during the five minute break get any flour or dough that is uh, avoiding uh, being mixed back into the middle of the mixing.